Hello and welcome to my Blender video tutorial. In this video tutorial, or actually a quick tip, I will be showing you how to align blueprints in Blender, so background images for when you are going to model something with blueprints. So it's a quick tip, it's going to be my, I think my first one, and it will hopefully not be too long. Okay, so anyways, let's get started. So now we need to to add in a background image, some people use image planes, but I find adding background images is much easier and also much neater. So let's go in to bring up this menu. Don't have a clue what it's called. And I'm going to go quickly activate my screencast key so you can see what I'm pressing. And I'm going to go and tick background images here. And now open it and go add image. And then so now we can add in a background image. So I'm going to add in a background image of the Samsung Galaxy. So here I have the Samsung Galaxy. I just clicked open, browsed to my image, added it. And so now we have the, the blueprint. So now what we have to do is get it so that it's aligned for each view. And note you can also only view blueprints in orthographic mode so let's go to let's make this one align to front and don't delete the default cube if you have it's fine just add it again so here on the axis go front so that if we go to the side view or top view we can't see the image and then go to Z for, y, Z, Z for wireframe and then just drag the blueprint along the grid with these X and Y controls. Then scale this cube up until it's meeting the borders of your blueprint. So there, scale it up and just align it like that very carefully. There we go. This. So now this, don't worry about the side yet. So now it's aligned to the cube. So now let's go minimize that and add in a new image. And let's go open same image and you actually don't even have to open it, you can just go here and select the image. So now you can see it's overlaying them because this one's all views. So let's do the right side, which is three. So go here and go to right and now I've got a front, there's no overlay. So now this is the right view because you can see that border there, it's slightly grey border on the Samsung. It stops it from copying up, um, Apple. So if we've got a front view, it's cool and you can see that's the side. So now let's drag this and try and align it. There we go, and scale it along the Y axis. Like that. And like that. Okay, cool. So now, this is also the about shape of the phone. So if you want to model from it, you can. But I'm just using it to align the blueprints. So now that we have aligned the front and right, let's go align the top. So go open that image and go to 7, number 7 for top view. Now you shouldn't be needing to do scaling because we've done that from the front and side view. So let's just change the axis to top and let's just go drag this X so it's in line and just drag it in line like that. Something like that. So like that. So now, if we go look, all our views are in line. And if, just to show you, if I was to add in a cube, it would be in the center of all of these blueprints. And that's basically what we're trying to achieve. So now, most of the time you only need to configure three blueprints. But, we, I have more, so I'm going to configure them. So let's go add a new image. Go add that again, because this image has several. And let's do the back. So go axis, 
and let's go select back. Now, numpad one is to go to front. Numpad three is go to go to side or right. Numpad seven is to go to top. Numpad. So now, if we're holding control, numpad one, it'll go to back. Control numpad three, it'll go to so, um, left. Control numpad top, it'll go to bottom. So let's go to control numpad one, and that will take us to the back view. So let's just drag this image. I'll in control numpad one, like that. Perfect. So now, so when you're modeling, just remember control numpad one will get you to the back, control numpad three, left, control numpad seven, bottom. So let's do the left side now. So control numpad three and let's go add in another image. Well, same image. And if that's right, that's the left. So let's just align it up and a little more. A little more. By the way, if your blueprints are out of scale, also can be a problem. You can go and change the size. So, say it's like this. I can go and change the size to match my cube size, like that. Which, my cube size is actually 5. So, yeah. So, that's how you would go if your images were the wrong size or something. Okay. So, 5. And now, we've done the this one. Also, just change it to left. Now, we have front we missing bottom so go here add another image and select the Samsung Galaxy S2 go control numpad 7 to go to bottom and then also I'm just going to drag this in line again now uh, there perfect When you're modeling something, it's also advisable that you get incredibly high res blueprints because modeling from low resolution blueprints is not fun. Um, so we have six views there, we have six views here, and now we have all the views configured. And as you can see, we can move around, go to the front view, model. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, this, this one is awesome. So now I can go to front view, side view, top view, bottom view, uh, back view, and left view. And that's basically all it is. Now you can go and delete this cube and go and like start modeling the button or something. Just drag it down. Uh, I know it's not related to this, but I'd advise that when you're modeling things like this, model it, asymmet model it with the mirror modifier which you can get right here uh, mirror just then you can only you only have to work on one side um, so that's basically all I wanted to do in this tutorial how to align blueprints so thanks for watching and this is my first tutorial I've done in a while because unfortunately I haven't had a good internet reception lately well internet connection I haven't had one and also yeah so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please it's I hope very good tips for when you model and until next time I guess bye